Hi, Miles Beckler here. And in this video, we're going to talk about how to get organic Facebook traffic. Now, Facebook for a long time was touted as the newest and hottest kind of traffic source out there. And their paid traffic platform, uh, the pay-per-click traffic on Facebook, it still is kind of one of the hottest uh, traffic sources around. You're still able to get a pretty good deal on the paid traffic, especially compared to what it costs from Google AdWords. And you have some really cool targeting. But honestly, paid Facebook traffic is for another video. This video, we're going to talk about organic or earned traffic from Facebook because there is a potential of driving tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of visitors to your website off of Facebook through Facebook every month by simply posting and publishing in a very specific way. Now, I do want to kind of add a caveat here. This is not a new method. And this is a method that a lot of us have been using very successfully for a very long time. Facebook is notorious for updating their algorithm and updating what ranks and what shows up in people's timeline. And they're always seeming to kind of be playing with the, the dials and screws and they're always kind of messing with things over there at Facebook on a very rapid basis. They iterate their algorithm very, very quickly which means what's working today might not be working next week and we might, or not might, we guarantee, I guarantee we are always having to adapt our approach, see what works, test things, and kind of continue to adapt to do more of what Facebook likes and what Facebook rewards via traffic and displays and reach, and we do less of what Facebook doesn't like through giving traffic and reach. So with that stated, we need to now look at the Facebook platform itself. What does Facebook want, right? Because we need to base our strategy and our methodology for getting Facebook traffic on what Facebook likes. And Facebook, as with every other platform, their main goal is an excellent user experience for their users. They want their users to log in. They want their users to scroll through their timeline. They want their users to click the like button, the love button. They want their users to click share and they want their users to post content onto their website because that in and of itself ultimately is what keeps the friends of that user engaged, looking at what's going on with their network and that allows Facebook to sell advertisements because Facebook advertisements show up in between people's posts and on the sidebar next to posts and even on Instagram at this point. But again, the goal of this video is to talk about the organic side of things, right? So you have a niche business, you have an opt-in list you want to promote, you have a funnel built that you're trying to drive traffic to. So how do you get traffic from Facebook into your funnel? It's a great question and it's a worthy challenge because when it works, you can get a lot of traffic. So the trick is first thing you need to start a fan page, right? And when you get your fan page going, it's going to start literally with one fan and that's going to be you. The first thing you need to do is kind of get over the hump of your first hundred fans through inviting people through from your actual kind of personal profile. And if you don't have a niche that you're comfortable sharing with on your personal profile, go create a new Facebook account, create a persona on Facebook with a new account and start to add friends and actually build up this persona that is going to be kind of like your pen name, if you will, and go add a bunch of groups that are relevant to your niche, start to communicate and build friendships and connect with people in these groups so you can actually have an audience based on your personal page that you can then kind of funnel or recommend to join your fan page. Once you have this system in place, and I would recommend you know going into three or four different groups a day, posting, liking, and commenting every day, and then on top of that, you want to be adding a few friends, like five friends a day, and commenting on friends stuff every day. This is going to show that you're engaging with the Facebook ecosystem. It shows that you're a real Facebook user, which is obviously what Facebook wants to see. Then you create your fan page. Now your fan page, you're going to publish a certain type of content to that fan page on a very regular basis. And I'm not able to tell you exactly what you need to do. 
You need to figure that out for yourself. But what I can do is I can tell you what I've been doing and what my wife have been doing very successfully for years now. And I can tell you a tool that we're using to kind of make it work really, really effectively. So let's say you're in the, the juice smoothie realm and you're, you've got a free opt-in that's 10 smoothie recipes that'll help you lose 10 pounds in 10 days and you have a few follow-up products. So you actually have a funnel built around that. So you could go try to create a fan page if it's not taken already of I love smoothies or I love green smoothies. And what your goal is, is to help people who also love smoothies and who love juicing and anything that has to do with smoothies, you want to give them content that they're easily going to like and share. And that's when they see your content. They're like, oh man, I love green smoothies too. This green smoothie meme is so exciting and cool. Like I got to share this or I want to like this page or I want to comment on this or I want to click like on this. When you have that going on, you are a positive contributor to the Facebook platform and you will get rewarded by Facebook with more reach and more kind of exposure to new people who haven't seen you before. Facebook will actually suggest your page to people who have a high likelihood of liking your page. So to be really specific on how we do this, we create what's called image memes or image quotes. These are images with quotes or text inside of the picture. And we publish these about three times a day. We also publish one blog post every single day. We put a very large picture. So it fills up the Facebook kind of picture window with a picture. We put a very detailed description and a link back to our WordPress site. Then we also create videos at this point, short videos that we're publishing to Facebook. And right now, Facebook seems to be giving more reach to videos than to images. Three, three months ago, it, images were working like gangbusters. We were able to get hundreds of thousands of reach for one image, but now the images are only getting tens of thousands of reach and we need to do compelling videos. So we're putting up short videos onto Facebook that don't have a link. They simply have kind of an idea or a concept. It's like a video version of a meme whether it's like a GIF with some text and, and an inspiring image or a video of you making a smoothie, pouring out a smoothie, talking about a great smoothie, whatever it is for your niche, you're gonna have to adapt this idea for your niche and for your audience to give them things they're going to like. But as I was saying earlier, you know, Facebook is constantly adjusting and this, this noticing that our videos are getting more reach than our images. Now what we're doing is we're adjusting what we're creating for Facebook and we're doing more videos because we see that Facebook's rewarding videos with um, more reach and reach on Facebook is one of the, the first metrics that we look at of how well did this content do? Did we reach five people? Did we reach 500? Did we reach 5,000? Did we reach 500,000? Um, and for every fan page, depending on the size, it's very different. Now there's kind of one tool that I do recommend and it makes it really easy to kind of reverse engineer what other successful fan pages have been doing. And this tool is called post planner. Now I believe it's $7 a month to get their basic level. And I think you can get it for the first month for free. When you log into post planner, what you want to do is you want to set it up to where you're following your competitors pages and there's a way to get it set up to where it automatically tracks and it automatically kind of scrapes all of the last posts that your competitors have been posting whether it's an image based post or whether it's an article what you can do with this data is you can see what's working for other people you look at what content of theirs has had the highest reach and then you go create your own version of that content and publish it to your fan page. When I say your own version, you got to make it unique. We don't plagiarize. We don't copy. What we do is we create unique variations that have a twist that kind of reinforces your unique selling proposition or reinforces something that's unique about you and your platform. And then you publish that to your fan page. Now, Right now we are posting to Facebook three times. No, excuse me. We're posting to Facebook every three hours at this point in time. That's 24 hours a day, seven days a week. This is a full time job in and of itself. Um, technically maybe not full time, but with the, the creation of the, the imagery, it literally is close to a full time job. We have 
multiple teammates and software tools that we use to help us kind of keep this going. The result of this is nearly 100,000 visits to our website per month from Facebook users and a very, very high um, tendency for these users to opt into our email list. So for us, it's worth it. If you're just starting out, it may be more effort than reward in the organic Facebook traffic side of things. And if you have a little bit of spending money available, you're gonna to wanna to try running some Facebook pay-per-click ads to drive users directly to your funnel um, and kind of bypass the legwork of going through the organic traffic process. With that said, there is still a lot of traffic to be had on Facebook. The trick is to first remember what the goal of Facebook is, right? The goal of Facebook is to have the users who are your friends and your fans and people who have not connected with you yet. The goal of Facebook is to have these users liking, sharing, and commenting on content. So again, you need to be creating visually stimulating content, um, intriguing quotes, quotes that make people say, hell yeah, I like that. Absolutely, I wanna share this to my page. I feel smarter or I feel better about myself sharing your content to my fan page. When you get your content coming through at that level, you're gonna be rewarded with more reach and more traffic on Facebook. So then one other thing you gotta keep in mind is how you're staggering your free content and your links to your website. You know, Gary Vaynerchuk wrote a book called Jab, 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 Right Hook. And it's really easy to kind of interpret that title as give, 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 ask for a click, right? So you could do an image meme, a video, and an image quote, and then a post to your blog, a link to your blog. And then you go right back to another video, an image meme, another video, and then you could link them to an affiliate product or to another blog post on your site. But you always wanna make sure you're giving more than you're asking for. Because if you're asking for that user to leave Facebook on a regular basis, Facebook is going to kill your reach because Facebook wants to keep those users on the Facebook ecosystem because that's how Facebook makes money. Facebook only makes money when people see advertisements and click on advertisements. So if you're linking people away from Facebook, you're potentially at odds with Facebook's revenue generation system. This may seem a little abstract, but it's an incredibly important and powerful concept that you need to know when you're doing organic Facebook marketing. So keep in mind the jab, 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 right hook philosophy. You wanna give, 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 and then you can ask for a click to your website. Give, 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 and then you can offer them your free opt-in item, your free lead bait, and you can link them over to your squeeze page to bring them off to your site so they can get onto your email list. There are ways to embed this inside of your Facebook fan page, but honestly, users aren't that engaged in Facebook to give out outside information. They don't necessarily see the connection of, I'm gonna give this user my email address from within Facebook so they can follow up with me in the email. But when you link them to your squeeze page, that makes sense. They've been through that process. They understand what's going to happen. And that is ultimately the goal with free Facebook traffic is ultimately you want to get them into your content. You want to get them into your email list through your opt-in page. That way you can own the ability and the right to communicate with them. If you've been basing your whole marketing strategy on Facebook organic traffic for a while and you're seeing your, your traffic slip, this is, this is exactly why you need to have been building an email list. And that's why this whole channel and everything I teach ultimately comes back to building your email list because no one can take that away from you. Google algorithm changes can't crush your email list. A Facebook algorithm change isn't going to limit the reach of your um, email list. You know, back in the day when fan pages first started three years ago, when you posted something to your fan page, every single fan saw that. Today, when you post something to your fan page, a fraction of those people are actually gonna see what you post. And that's based on Facebook's algorithm. Facebook's delivering them what they think they're going to like. So everything you publish on Facebook, it needs to be something that has a high likelihood of your best, best audience liking. And what do they like? Pictures, memes, 
gifts, inspiring quotes, inspiring messages, things that they can share that make them feel smart or make them feel good about themselves or make them say, hell yes, I agree with this. And when you're putting out content that has that kind of vibrational match or that kind of the, the logical match for your audience, that's when you're going to see that your content is getting shared. It's getting liked, it's getting more reach. And when you show Facebook that you're a publisher on their platform, who's delivering content that their users love, Facebook gives you more and more reach. Now, it's a long-term game to play the organic Facebook traffic game. If you haven't started yet at all, I don't know if I would 100% recommend going all in on Facebook right now. And that's because they've reached a level in their maturity where they're really tightening down the algorithm on the organic side to try to force you into playing the paid traffic game. They wanna force you to boost your posts. They wanna force you to run ads to get the reach instead of rewarding you from the organic efforts. Now, the good news is there's always another up and coming platform. And if you were hoping that the free Facebook traffic, organic traffic, excuse me, not free, earned Facebook traffic was kind of like the solution, go ahead and go in that direction and give it a shot and kind of build it, especially if you're familiar with the Facebook platform. But know that Pinterest is an excellent, excellent platform right now. Pinterest users are notorious for being the highest spending users out of any social media platform. And there's a lot of ability for you to grow a Pinterest kind of user base and audience quickly right now. They're not as tight on the reach and they're allowing you to still put affiliate links inside of Pinterest. So if you've gotten to this point in the video and you're like, man, I was really hoping that Facebook organic traffic was like the hit. I thought this was going to be my, my go-to consider Pinterest. Be sure to watch the Pinterest video. I'm going to record that one after this. So it'll be out in a day or two um, after this video. So subscribe to the channel and make sure you get the update when that video comes out. Also, leave me a message. Let me know uh, what you think about this video. If you've been doing Facebook for a while and you've seen any changes in your reach, let me know. I want to talk about this. I want more kind of user input because I see what I see from a few platforms and a few big fan pages. Our biggest fan page is like 920,000 fans. So we've got a lot of experience in this area, but I'm curious if you're also seeing that your reach is sliding. And also if you've been running pay-per-click on Facebook, let me know how that's going for you because I do want to eventually potentially put together um, a whole paid traffic kind of series in this channel. Uh, but I'm only going to go through that process if it's something you're interested in or if it's something you've, you've kind of done and you have experience with or you need help with. So leave me a comment below. I'm Miles Beckler. I thank you very much for your time. I wanted to be really clear on what's been working and what is working on the Facebook kind of organic traffic side of things. But I also wanted to be really honest with the amount of energy it takes. This is also a very long-term game to get organic Facebook traffic. So you need to be in it for the long haul. You need to be ready to create lots of content, lots of images, lots of kind of image quotes and memes that people are able to like and share. And you're gonna to need to do that for like day in, day out, multiple times, multiple postings a day, at least three to six times a day, every single day, seven days a week for literally three to six months before you're gonna see significant results, if any at all. And this is really where, it, if, it, if it's starting to feel like, oh man, that sounds like a, a long-term risk, it can be, and that's where running paid traffic can be absolutely a blessing, or going with a platform such as Pinterest that's a little bit newer, and it's not as kind of, um, oh man, like, limiting in reach or they're not they're not trying to milk out milk as much revenue from ads as possible like Facebook is right now because um, the trend for Facebook over the last year has definitely been less reach organically require people to pay more on the pay-per-click and the pay-per-click prices are starting to go up because more and more people are indeed paying to try to get reach whether it's working for them or not so I'm Miles Beckler this has been a very honest look at how to get um, organic traffic from Facebook Thank you very much for your time and I do look forward to connecting with you on the next video.